What's going on, everybody? That's right. Been growing my hair out here in this uh, pandemic lockdown, like everybody else is doing, you know. Don't you even think about hating on my mullet. Bunch of haters, man. Good evening, everybody. Eric here, and Jack's along with me, Nomadic Fanatic. Came across an interesting uh, little video here the other day. Looks like somebody uh, called us out, Jax. Let's see what this uh, family has to say here, okay? Here, take a listen. What's yours? Nomadic Fanatic. Nomadic yep. Fanatic? Who are the people? Are Eric the people? and Buck, the little kitty cat to Jack. Well, he's not little. He's, he's a, a big <laughs> kitty cat. <laughs> Okay, so, but we love Barbara Nomadic Cat. Fanatic. We watch him all the time. He's, mm -hmm. He is one of the channels that inspired us to get into doing mm -hmm. YouTube in the first place. That's awesome, guys. Thank you so much, the Haley family, for the challenge. I actually needed an idea to make a video because, sadly, I lost all of my Easter stuff, guys. Yeah. I used my uh, GoPro 8 to film 19 minutes of the Easter egg hunt with Jack's Ray. I filled all the eggs with cat treats, and then I had catnip around the plastic eggs, and this thing crumbed out on me, deleted the entire file after I hit stop. Don't have any Easter footage. I'm so sad. So, yeah, let's do this little challenge myself here. However, I might need your help, Jax. You might have to come back. Okay, so, question one. Again, all of the questions are going to be in the video description below. Uh, and I'm going to have to challenge some people at the end of this, so uh, more info on their channel later. Question number one. How many rolls of TP do you have at this moment? I, I know exactly how many rolls of TP I have at this exact moment. I have 23 rolls of TP. They're all right there. 23 rolls. Uh, the 20 pack was given to me by, by a viewer. I've got three there. Oh, and I've got a partial on in, in the bathroom over there. So I've got 23 rolls, which means I've got three or four months worth right now. I'm good. I'll even, I'll, I'll even give it out if somebody needs it nearby. I'm not hoarding it. Number two, what has been the biggest change since the lockdown? For me, honestly, the, the biggest noticeable change is the, the, the Wi-Fi, the cellular Wi-Fi, the cellular signal of both AT&T, Verizon, all of the networks, all of the towers. Too many people are, are asking too much of these and they're just getting overloaded and it is very difficult to upload videos, nearly impossible to live stream. And I'm even having problems streaming things like Netflix, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime. So that's the biggest surprise and the biggest thing affecting me right now because otherwise I'd just be sitting here in the RV just, just waiting, just being patient. Question number three, where are you currently parked or docked? Well, I'm in Illinois right now. The weather is about... 60, 65 degrees in the daytime, it's getting down to freezing. In fact, the next four days in a row are all going to be 32 degrees. Right there at freezing, right there. I am lot docking, which is a lot like boondocking, except I'm in a commercial area right now. Question number four. What have you gone without recently? Oh, like besides teepee, obviously, right? Because I think we're all in that boat. Well, let's see. Chicken. Chicken breasts, like frozen or refrigerated. Uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh, and those frozen Atkins meals. People are seem to be just hoarding those up from all the stores that sells the At the Atkins products, all the frozen stuff. Um, I've got room in the chest freezer now. I got rid of all the tater tots and pizza and the chicken nuggets and the ice cream. I've got room for the next time I score big. I'm gonna get a bunch of those frozen meals like like this lasagna and the the chicken and all the ones I like. Question five: What are you most grateful for? <laughs> Well, how about just the fact that I have this RV, that I have everything I need in this RV right now. I'm in a safe spot. Uh, I feel like a little bit of planning, a, a little bit of, you know, stocking up on certain things like the downtime activities, like my game systems and TV and stuff. Um, I'm really fortunate to have everything so easy because I can just close the blinds and it's like any other normal night. It just happens to be a quarantine and I'm okay being by myself, really. I'm also grateful for the fact that I can make some money online during this. So, you know, I'm not completely without paying my bills. Uh, I've, I've shifted a lot more over onto Patreon lately because that's where the money's at. YouTube will come back though. Uh, I'm not giving up on YouTube. It's just that they're not really paying right now. I'm thankful to get anything right now because I know a lot of people would love to be making a living right now. Question number six is what do you miss the most? Well, me personally, I miss just being able to leisurely travel. 
I could travel and I am traveling in the RV every 10 days to take care of essential things, but one of the things I really miss is the is just the travel for fun, for quirky, looking for adventurous road trips and filming the quirky stops and sharing sharing the road with my viewers. That's what I do. So being forced to just kind of lock down, it's different. I definitely just miss the freedom of travel. Question seven is how long has it been since you've been at a campsite? It has been, I think it's been close to two weeks since I left the Thousand Trails in Orlando, Florida and drove up here to Illinois about two weeks. But it's been 10 days since my last campfire. I do remember that. I had a nice campfire here with some friends in the area, uh, all social distancing, staying six feet apart around the campfire. That was nice. Yeah. Number eight, what is your favorite quarantine food? I, I'm going to twist that around a little bit. It's coffee. <laughs> it's a drink and a food, but coffee is my favorite thing to consume here in the RV during the quarantine. I mean, it has no carbs and no calories. Uh, so it's not, it's not, you know, killing my body to drink a whole bunch. And that's the thing is I'm drinking way more coffee than usual, guys. I'm just letting you know, I'm drinking a lot more coffee than normal, but it could be worse. I'm not drinking sugary sodas, right? Question number nine is how are you exercising and doing your workouts? Well, I think the entire YouTube world knows how, how well I'm set with that <laughs> because I have shown my, my equipment because I did not want to rely on the thousand trails fitness centers. I wanted to have my own system in here. So the way I lost 38 pounds in the first 90 days of the year was by having my body boss system. That's this guy right here that opens up and then has bungees where I can do an incredible amount of workouts on that. I've also got my rowing machine over here, the, the rowing cardio machine, I guess you'd call it. I've got my elliptical gazelle type machine in there. I also like my walks and today I went on a, a really quirky walk actually. I'm gonna do more of these. I posted it on Instagram that I actually walked with this synced to my workout and wrote my name, Eric, through the roads that I that I walked on, through the actual neighborhoods. Uh, it was a lot of fun, it was a little tricky. I had to plan it out, I had to take the right curves and go halfway into an alley one time. I mean, it works, it's fun. I might create a new word in my daily walks. I, that recorded uh, 1.8 miles of recorded walking, but it was actually more than three miles total outside of what I recorded on my uh, Apple Watch. Question 10. Who are you challenging next? Pick five. Oh my gosh. You know what that sound is? It's bonus question time. Bonus question. What was or will be your pandemic panic purchase? Oh, you're gonna laugh. We, we all did something. I mean, I think everybody can admit I panic purchased all the Michelob Ultra on their shelf. Yes, I had, at one time, I had 13, 18 packs of Michelob Ultra in the RV before I left Florida. Because at the time, going up into Illinois, I had heard about a couple cities that, it was like Prohibition. I mean, they, they, they literally cut the sales, was it Champaign, Illinois? Somewhere up there. Anyway, once I started hearing that they were going to not let you purchase alcohol anymore, I just decided since nobody else was going for that, everybody's worried about other stuff, I just picked Michelob Ultra. And I'm gonna be drinking that Michelob Ultra till the end of the year, probably. Yeah, no kidding. All right, I gotta nominate five people, wow. Well, let's do it. I'm also gonna link these five people in the in the video description below, so you can head on over to their channel and remind them, let them know that they've been challenged and they need to put one of these videos up. Channel number one is Red, White, and Bethune. They are a family of four. I think they got like six dogs too that take up even more space than the humans. And they are literally moving into a converted self-built bus RV right now. Like, like literally, if you go to their channel right now, you can actually watch them live working on the transition from a house, stick and bricks, into the bus to get on the road. They're going to homeschool their kids and go travel on the road. And they're a great family. I think you'll love them. Also, another bus dweller, RV Steve Travels. They live in an RV bus of sorts. I think they're still in Florida now. Yeah, probably still down there in Florida where it's getting hot. And I, uh, Steve is, is a Disney guy, so he's, he's 
got thumbs up in that book. Um, so yeah, Steve, I, I challenge you to the question too. And how about Sean Fowler, my buddy here in East Alton, Illinois? This guy has been doing this insane weight loss challenge. Him and his wife have lost so much. He's lost over 100 pounds himself, and he does uh, weekly Friday weigh-in, Wednesday, Friday type things, talking about just non-stop losing pounds and how he's working out and eating, eating healthy and making some serious changes, both of them. So definitely check out Sean Fowler, and Sean, you got to do the challenge now. Let's see, RV Pepper Wayne, I'm not going to leave you out down there. He's in, he's in Florida. He's my RV genius mechanic down there, currently in, I think, Panama City area, Florida. Uh, and a great mechanic, very knowledgeable. If you need any work or solar installs, definitely hook him up and remind him he needs to do this challenge. And lastly, Lola, lost on land again from the uh, Texas area, although she's a part-time van dweller who travels outside of Texas as well. She also puts on the big uh, lost, what's it called, Lola Palooza event every year, which is a blast with awesome good people. So Lola, I challenge you. Again, those questions are in the video description. Thank you again, Haley family, for nominating me. You guys be well. Everybody else be well. Have fun. I will see you soon back on the channel. Good night, guys.